everyone, welcome to Texas! We are going into Beaumont, and I'm sure I scared Jose. Screaming your dang head off. They look like a chicken running around with tank head off. <laughs> welcome to Beaumont, Texas. We've, uh, we've been here before, we didn't record a video. We should have. We should have, because we're, we, there was an accident last time we were out here, and it ended up with me and Katie kind of being stuck driving around Beaumont to get around the interstate. Yeah. And I've been, I've been in the drive. We saw some pretty interesting hoods yeah. over here. So let's see what this is about. Let's explore Beaumont, Texas. It is a Sunday. And it was like the wrong lighting. and So we're just like, let's not do this. Yeah, it wasn't. Everything wasn't perfect at that moment. But we're going to Beaumont. Let's see what this town's about. It looks pretty much dead out here. Beaumont till you know, Mom. Man. Put a map up so I can see what they're going to do where we're at. Kind of, um, does this work for you? Well, yes, sir, it sure does. Mm -hmm. Wow, this looks dead. You've got tours coming out here. Wow, I thought Montgomery was dead. Look at this place. Unbelievable. I know it's a Sunday, but what? there's not even a soul out here. Visit Beaumont. place yourself. Yeah. 
there's more people there, just not outside. Well, it is like 96 degrees. It is 96 degrees. degrees, I get you, but either way. Oh, there's a few people. In no, I get it. It is 96 degrees. Like, uh, uh, I was just happy to see some people in this town. Gets, even if it was 96 degrees outside, there'd be people out in Florida. I think they might. Don't be blame too. your boringness on the weather. I understand you're a boring person, but don't blame it on the weather. This looks like Chicago. <laughs> Like it's just like no no it looks like Gary and Anna. I was just happy to see that there's life out here. Where? <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean I get it, it is 96 degrees, but still like if it was 96 degrees on four, we'd still be out. how this house here has like Bob Warner on top of their fence.
except for there's like nobody here. We are in, in whatever town this is called. Whatever town this is called. Boat. Is that Jax? Jack. In the box. Dang it, I thought it was a Jax. No. You're going back to where there was no people. That's fine. This guy is having a little altercation. You need it to go that way. Hey, I know where I'm going. Relax. I got this. Well, that street does have some stuff. I want to see this neighborhood back over here. We'll come back around. This guy's having an altercation with himself. So there's like there's nobody out here, so he's just like, he's having an altercation like all by himself. Like there's literally no way around. He's just like, man, screw you, man. No, man, man, no matter you disrespect me. No, you ain't gonna disrespect me, man. I'm gonna disrespect myself. <laughs> what is he doing? He's like literally having a discussion with himself. Like he's just like, oh, there's literally nobody out here. No, he's not crazy. If he was crazy, he would have totally ignored me. He was pretending to be crazy. Yeah. If he was really crazy, he would have like not even looked. <clears throat> I know crazy when I see it. I know Jim crazy. We've seen enough crazy. We've seen enough crazy at this point. I know what, uh, crazy yeah, he's, he's not really crazy. Y'all, people in Beaumont, y'all find him and let him know that we we figured him out. He's not really crazy. So I'm gonna guess this is probably like the most happening place in town. Right here. Yeah. Until I'm here. How's this do look very It's like Galveston nice. if like people abandon it and like nobody ever moved back for like two hundred years. Yeah. Galveston looks like it was it's two hundred years later. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is like another add another two hundred years to the equation. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm not really on a road. Oh, you want to get something that's 22 inches? Yeah, we can get something that's 22 inches. I've been wanting a new party platter, so that would work out really well. We could get a 22 inch one, or maybe even 24. Um, a charcuterie board. Yes, a charcuterie board at Target that's 24 inches. Yeah, um, yeah, that, that yeah. That, uh, yeah, that, that's a good purchase. All right, look. Especially with the parties that I plan to have, that's a great purchase. All right, so check this out. So check this out. We can go to Target. I'm sure they got a Hobby Lobby or something like that. We can check out. Or like a Bed Bath & Beyond. Or a rental wheel. What are you talking about? A charcuterie board. So you can put little cheeses and salmon. Soak salmons and prosciuttos and what the, what olives. What the crap is prosciutto? You bring a prosciutto around me and we're gonna have a problem. I know what a prosciutto is, but it sounds. You know what a prosciutto sounds like? A like a like a hog died and you chop its leg off, let it dry age and rot. You can put like put it in a fridge on and it. then sliced it up and give it to people and say, here, here's prosciutto. It's a it's a hog's leg that's been dry aged or rotted. Hard to tell the difference. What is a prosciutto? Look it up. It's probably exactly what I said it was. It's probably like a, like a roadkill hog that's been out in the sun for four to five days and you decide to just slice it up and give it to people. Let's say it's been dry aged. That's what the 
proper. You don't even know what a prosciutto is. So you you think you're fancy, but you're not. You don't even know what a prosciutto is. It's exactly what I thought it was. Dry cultured ham. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what I said? Dry, that's a fancy way. Dry cultured ham. Basically, let me, let me tell you what that means. That means a hog died by the side of the road. And four days later, somebody came and shot its leg off. Slice it in a very thin slice and said, It's prosciutto. <laughs> it's prosciutto. It's, it's, it's a hog leg that's been decomposing for a few days. I'm going to guess this is the best part of town right here. Mm -hmm. I, that's where I've seen the most cars and stuff. Yeah. I'm not even worried about my safety out here. There's oh, nobody yes. around to hurt you. And I could get some new dinner plates. Maybe I could find one that has an orca on it. Maybe you could find a rental wheel. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I can find in some rooms. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could replace my pots and pans while we're out here. I can see if I can find a 22 to 24 inch cooking pot. I think uh, what you need to find is a 22 inch. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to find me a good, good, sturdy cooking pot that works on induction. We need to find some dubs. No, I'm going to find me my cooking pot. See if there's a rental wheel, okay? I'm gonna see if there's a Target, Jose. Rent <laughs> Tar a wheel, okay? Tar get R A W. Rent a wheel. We offer financing. T A R G E T. T I R E. <laughs> Tired with financing. Target. Dude. Rams. Target. 22s. Target. David Banner. <laughs> Ashley Simpson. Oscar Meyer. Sarah Lee. Plies. Beyonce. Look at the boat. It's a boat. And no, you're not getting rinsed. <sighs> I'm gonna. Yeah, we're going to Target. What part of Target do you not understand? Or I could class it up and go to Walmart. Why am I on like? There's like nobody around. Uh, this is like the most. I was about to drive. They turned green. I was gonna drive the rain. I was like, oh, this is absolutely pointless. Yeah. Okay. Wow. This is a. Uh, you know the only town that I've seen though. Remember that one time we saw in New Mexico in the desert? Yeah. What was it called? That there was less people there than this. Mm -hmm. Remember the time we saw in the desert? Kind of. Where there was a bunch of old school parts that were just sitting out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. That place had more people than this. Okay, GPS, like, to Houston. Let's get, let's get out of here. GPS, uh, right away in Houston. somebody else to be engaged with and married and all that because uh, 
whatever. Oh, we can just get back some oyster and go here. Oyster you mushrooms. I could like cut them. Put some barbecue sauce on it. It'll taste just like ribs. Okay. 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 Along with well, my trip to Target. Turn left onto US 90 West College Street. There's two options I believe you used to go. Why is it offering me to go with the right turn? Oh, because we're already right outside of Houston. Okay. Um, you want to go to Conroe and Woodlands and all that first? We can do whatever we want. There is other places. But that'll work. Yeah, it's kind of nice out of Houston. <laughs> I've never been to like the north side. I don't know. I just directed us to a target. Oh, wow. <laughs> So I-10 is not the only way to get to Houston. Yeah. Oh, there's some people on this road. I like you. I and like I'm you. happy to be in Texas again. I like you. And I want you. Yeah. Now we can do this the easy way. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not where we're going. Uh, you, you need to talk about that in private, but... Turn you've got no US class. 90 West College Street. Okay, at least they have a nice car. This Lincoln looks good. Continue for seven miles. That looks very nice. And no, we are not putting rims on this Head vehicle. Northwest on South Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway toward Fannin Street. Continue on South Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway for one and a half miles. Is that a gas station? Wow, maybe the gas station took me more. Huh. Called a crisscross? Yeah. That's hilarious. This place looks bad, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, get out of the way with your truck, dude. I was trying to see the limbs on this car. Baby, can you look at me for a moment? Look at that truck right there. It's kind of like squatted in stainless and all that. Biscuits and donuts. Booted, apparently. So you can get sausage at the donut? I want to see, like, the woodlands, like, all that. Like, the part that's from the haven't seen yet. Houston? Sure. I'm Those are woodlands. I know the woodlands. You know, if we're going to stay, stay in Houston, I would like to get into the hotel room early. Continue on South Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway for one mile. I'm gonna say this has got to be one of the most depressing towns I've ever seen. Yes, it, it does look. It reminds me of Gary, Indiana. Like we can make a video here and say it's Gary, Indiana, and people will believe it. Gary, Indiana in the summertime, dude. Those rims are sick. <laughs> this guy right here. Just some bottles of no. There's like a homeless guy over there. Lots of homelessness here. I think it looks good, man. He's an electrician. He either 
Eric has work or he's sick. That guy over there, he's a crackhead. He's lazy, ain't nothing wrong with him. Ain't nothing wrong with him. I do drugs. I pick up all the trash everywhere I go. He's a crackhead. Yeah, I try to get work, help people. I can't get nothing. Can't get done out there, man. I tell you. You get that crackhead right there? Huh? You in that crackhead right there? That's Damn crackhead, man. Ain't nothing wrong. I, I, ain't nothing wrong. I didn't get, get them food tent down there. Man, that's why I'm out here. That guy get that. He get that. He look that, that. He look like. He look like a crack. He do look like. That's what I'm saying. He look like one. He look like a crackhead. That's the real. But he do look like a crackhead. Ain't nothing wrong with him. Okay, that made my day right there. Okay. <laughs> he did that day right there. Ain't nothing wrong with him. I want to use the bathroom. I want to use the bathroom, but this is like scarier than scary. Yeah. I'm, I, like I'd rather hold my urine yeah. until I get somewhere safer. Take the I-10 West. Dude, like take the I-10. Serious, like Jose, just just get on the off ramp and get out of here. Mm -hmm. This town is depressing. Oh, it's because they're all over there. What are they doing? There's like a or a van or something. I guess. They're playing something. No. But everybody in town is over there and over here. That crackhead made my day, man. Two miles. Take exit 851. Now, he's that crackhead. Don't get him nothing. He's that crackhead. Don't get him nothing. That crackhead made my day. I want to go back and give him $100 for an interview. Want to do it? I'll literally give that guy $100 for an interview. To tell me about how the other homeless person is the crackhead. Want to do it? He'd do it. Want to go back and do it? No, let's keep it. Dude, I'm telling you, that would be the interview of the year. Let's go back over there. I'll give him $100 for an interview. And I want him to tell me that the other guy's a crackhead. Want to do it? No, I want to go to Houston. Oh, dude, you're, you're slow, bro. That will be like, that will go viral. Let's go back over there and talk to the guy. Let's give him $100 bucks and say, tell me about how the other guy's are. I'll give you $100 right now. Tell me that the other guy's a crackhead. Tell me all about his story. Tell me how he's. I want to know how this guy. Other guys want to do it. No, he do it. Cool. I know he do it. You show him a hundred dollars, he do it. He'd be like, that guy's a crackhead. I don't think. I know he do it. Come on, let's go back and do it. Let's go. Dude, you're never right about these things. That guy right there, you offer him a hundred. You show him a hundred dollar bill. He'd be like, that guy right there, right there. Dude, that guy is worth interviewing, I'm telling you. Please, I know, I know a good story when I see one. I don't even know anything. I'm going back. Take me back to that gas station. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. GPS, I'm driving. GPS, grab the phone and, and type crackhead and take me back to that intersection. I want to interview that guy. You ain't crap, Katie. You ain't crap. Take exit 851, then merge onto I-10 Access Road. Dude, I don't give a crap. I'm going back. Let's go. I'm not going to miss on the opportunity to make thousands of dollars because you're dumb. I want, I'll give that guy a hundred bucks and say, hey, tell me about how the other guys are cracking. Take me back. I'm serious. This is the interview of the year. How the crap we're going to pass up this opportunity. Continue on I-10 West for one and a half minutes. No. Katie, I'm serious. I'm not playing. I think it's good video. That could go viral. That guy telling everybody how the other guy's a crackhead. <laughs> Katie, GPS back to the spot, bro. Grab the phone. Do I have to do it while driving on the highway? Do I have to do this while driving, bro? Because you're too dumb to do it. I'm telling you, that's what we're doing. I'm not going to miss out on the opportunity to wonder if this was worth doing. I know that was worth doing. Take me back over there. I'm going to get off on an exit. I know that's worth recording, bro. That homeless guy, angry at the other homeless guy for not being crap, that is a million dollars. That's a million. You're passing up a million dollar idea right now. What else are you doing? You're just you're not even doing anything in your life. You're just driving around. Ow. 
trust me on this. Go back to where we were. I don't even know where we were. We're on I-10. You've been on I-10 the whole time. Just figure out how to get me back on I-10 going the other way. There was a gas station where there was the guy where they were selling pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where we were. We'll get off on the sex again. I'm telling you. Oh, he's probably not going to be there. Once somebody gives him $10, he's gone. He's <laughs> probably already gone. No, I'm, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to offer him money. I'm say, hey, look, man, I got this YouTube channel. If you will let me interview you about how the other guys are called crackhead, I'll pay you. Just tell me how the other guys are crackhead. This is this will do right here. Maybe she'll do it, too. Tell me how the other homeless person is crackhead. That right there is a million. Wouldn't you watch that? No. A homeless person... That's angry at another homeless person because the other person's a crackhead. I would pay to watch that, bro. That's like pay-per-view crap right there, bro. You just you don't know town when you see it. Hopefully he's still there. I've seen talent in my life. This man needs his own sitcom. I'm going back. I'm doing this. I've had good ideas in my life. I have cash. You think I don't have cash? Of course, you don't know it. Look at my wallet. I'm gonna offer him 40. I don't want him to seem like it's too much. If you offer him too much money, he might think it's like weird. I'm gonna offer him 40 bucks. Like, look, bro. My wallet's in here. You don't even know where my wallet is, huh? See that? See how slick I am? You don't know where my wallet is. Oh. And you don't know I have cash. Look ahead on the map and see where that gas station is. The yeah. GPS that gas station. Mm -hmm. It was like pizza or something. Wasn't there McDonald's? Yeah. Was it the McDonald's or was it beyond McDonald's? It was right by the McDonald's. Okay, just look at the map and try to figure it out. It's just a few exits up ahead. There's a McDonald's right there. Is that it? Yeah, because it, it was right by the highway. I think right. that's it. Continue on I-10 East for one mile. Yeah, and there's like a gas station right across the shell. Is that it right there? Yeah, I think that's it. Right, we'll see. Is that it? Yeah. Continue he was outside the McDonald's for the gas station. Three quarters of a mile. Is that it right there? Look, we can see if that was it. In half a mile, no, it's not keep left at the fork to stay on I-10 East. Follow signs for US-90 yeah. and Charles. I'll offer him $40. I'll give you $40. I want you to tell me about how the other guys are cracking up. Like Charles, I'm gonna go with Lake Charles. Did you find it yet? No, I haven't found it. I'm trying to figure it out with McDonald's and stuff. I think it was like there was like a bridge or something. GPS it. Head south on North 7th Street toward I-10, frontage road. Turn right? What am I doing here? Yeah, that was it right there. In 1,000 feet, turn left. Yeah, that's how you get over there, okay? 
Hopefully he's still there. He'd probably be there. Well, somebody gave him five and he's gone. We're gonna do this. You have to know talent when you see it. I don't know how long this video needs to be, but tell me how the other guys are cracking. You tell me on video how the other guys are cracking and I'll give you 40 dollars. Oh yeah, tell me all about it, yeah. You gotta be a hustler, bro. Like you have to see, like you can't be afraid to make moves. Yeah. Like in life, when you see an opportunity, you gotta recognize it mm -hmm. and, make, and make sure you sign a contract. There's no royalties on this. <laughs> you just gotta know when you see something that's like meaningful and significant for society. This is meaningful. This guy's anger about how the other guy's a homeless crackhead. That's meaningful. Like he feels like the other guy shouldn't be homeless. Mm -hmm. should be homeless in a town where there's this many houses or anything. What is it's stop housing costs here? It's, it can't be much. I mean, if they're empty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a talent seeker across America. In a quarter mile, turn left onto North Street. Places, but this is like wow. Yeah. 
This is like bad. Ain't no telling what that person was thinking. Could have just been throwing garbage out, but could have been doing some type of strategic move. Yeah. Head south on North 4th Street toward Cedar Street. In 800 feet, turn left onto Cedar Street. Hey, we saw this truck. No, it's a different truck. No, um, different saw a truck very similar to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, this is depressing. He's leaving. Mm -hmm. 